You probably used KD Connect in the past to connect your PC and your phone, but did you know that it's powerful enough to actually connect two laptops together, even if they don't run the same desktop? And to showcase this, I'm going to connect my old computer with, of course, KD Plasma on it, to my new computer and for this demonstration I actually have GNOME with uh, GS Connect which is the uh, GNOME version of KD Connect. So in here you got a list of devices and Yara is my old computer which I am now going to show you. My old computer is this, ah, sorry, this little guy right here. Okay so this is KD Connect and uh, as you can see, blah, 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 this is JSSC Connect. And now what I'm going to do is, in here, I've got all of the options that you would expect in the mobile application, actually. And in here, I've got all of the options that I also have when I connect the phone. As an example, I can make Yara ring if I lost my computer somehow. And right now it's actually ringing. But I can also share some files with it. But most importantly, and I think this is the coolest part of this presentation, I can use, using this touchpad, something fell, using this touchpad, I can use this computer. So this is the mouse, and this is Yara's mouse. I clicked on remote control on KD Connect, I click on lock, and now I'm using the mouse on the new computer using the touchpad of the old one. And I mean, I think this is so cool. Like, Honestly, this is the coolest thing ever. And I actually can also insert text and uh, send it, and it will insert as text in this computer as well. Let me show you by opening up text editor. And just like that, I actually typed on this computer and it worked here as well. And I mean, if that's not the coolest thing ever, I don't know what is. To disable this, of course, uh, you just go here and inside of Yara, you've got all, the, all of the options. And in here, you press left and right buttons. In here, you just click on mouse and keyboard and you turn it off. And now my computer is no longer uh, using Theo. She's called Theo, the new one. And of course, you also get other stuff. As an example, I can do volume control. Sorry, I can share files, sure. But I can also do volume control. Let me show you. So my face right now is in the way, but at the top right, I have the volume icon. And let me see if I can just hide it. Sorry about this. You don't usually see this kind of stuff. Bye bye. Okay, here you can see the volume. And now you don't see it, but I'm going to use Yara, which is the old computer, and tell the new computer to change the volume. And as you can see, it's changing. So I can actually control the new computer using the old one. I mean, technically you could say that I'm using KD Plasma to control GNOME, which sounds cooler than it actually is, but it's still pretty cool, isn't it? So to conclude, and let me actually get back to my poor face. Hello, I'm still here, even though you hadn't seen me. I think this is one of the coolest part of KD Connect. Not only you can cannot connect your uh, your phone because of course you can do that that was the original idea I think but you can also connect two computers together and you're going to get all of these options not just the one that I showed case right now but also the present presentation sorry remote but also fan device if, one, if you want to a device to ring multimedia control if you want to control a video that is playing on Chrome on this device through that device also, what else? Running commands. I can run commands in here through that device. And I think this is just the coolest thing ever. Did you know about this? If not, then you'll be surprised about the next part, which is when I'm going to connect a phone with another phone. I don't know if that's possible, honestly. I haven't tried yet. And let's see. For this test, I'm going to use this, which is the JinkPad with Android on it. And by the way, the JinkPad with Android makes so much more sense and I'm going to talk about that soon. Okay, so I've installed KD Connect in the, in the tablet, in the JinkPad. What I did was to connect both my phone and uh, the JinkPad to the same Wi-Fi. Actually, my phone is tethering. And then you go into the KD Connect app, which is this one here, and this is Theo, which is the computer, but if you go on pair new device, we can see if something appears. 
and it does. Look at here, Jinkpad C1, and you click request peering. In here, a pop ups pops up. Sorry, saying, do you want to uh, do the thingy? And you click on yes, and now you can see that it actually works and you can connect two phones together, technically also a tablet and uh, my phone. This one on the left is my phone. I'm using P to actually see my phone while using my computer. If you don't know about that, I did a video like um, yesterday. And uh, I can do what you would expect, remote input and stuff. And I think this is so cool, even send files to the tablet. If you want to send files between uh, Android systems, this is an option. Just remember they have to be both connected to the same Wi-Fi. And there's also a lot of permissions to uh, enable on a newly installed KDE Connect in Android. That was it actually. I think I should case everything and in order for my face to show again, sorry, let's do like this. I need to click on this button and my face will magically appear again. Hello, I'm back. And uh, I think this is cool. Honestly, I think that KD Connect is one of the coolest uh, tools that you can use right now. And the fact that you can connect pretty much any device, even if they're not KD Plasma, like you could connect two Android devices together or an Android device and a GNOME computer. Even if KDE is not there, you can still use KDE Connect to connect those devices. And I really think that's the difference between having a lock-in um, environment like Apple, where you have to use Apple devices in order for things to work. Whereas in KDE, you just have to have a device, which is Android hopefully, but iOS is uh, be becoming supported as well. And even if it's GNOME and even if it's Android, even if it's iOS, you can still use our tools. And I, I mean, what else? It, it, it's so cool. It's so cool. So thanks everyone and see you tomorrow.